question, I'm in fifth grade, and my question is, if you became Pope, what would you change? Well, I'm on the spot there, and, uh, you know, I've never given that any thought, uh, because I really don't think that's in the future. But right now, I am very, very fortunate to have a, a close and loving relationship with Pope Francis. And it is my great prayer that he continue to lead our church uh, in a new and uh, vigorous way to rediscover and deepen our love for one another and for Jesus himself. Hi, my name is Layla Thompson. My question is, is Venerable August, we, we have learned a lot about Venerable Augustine Tolton. And I wanted to know if Venerable Augustine Tolton was related to any other saints. Well, no, uh, Augustine, Augustus Tolton actually was born a slave, and he was born a slave, and he escaped uh, his slave condition and actually ended up in Chicago. Eventually, uh, he was ordained a priest in Rome and was sent back to the United States and ended up in a parish uh, in the south side of Chicago that eventually I was the auxiliary bishop and in charge of that region where St. Monica, his parish, which was then uh, became St. Elizabeth's, uh, I, I was very fortunate to learn about him. And when his cause, when the process of Augustine Tolton's cause was introduced in Rome, they asked a, a number of people uh, to give witness of, of his influence and the goodness that he, uh, he demonstrated. And in St. Elizabeth's Parish, was a very, very, very older woman, and I never asked her age, because that's a danger. <laughs> that's a dangerous question. But she had been a little girl and had attended his funeral. So I met her, and she talked about this wonderful African-American priest that, as a little girl, she didn't know him personally, other than to know that he was the priest that served the parish. So his cause is moving along quite well, and we ask that the Lord uh, provide the next steps so that eventually he will be blessed Augustine Tolton, and then eventually we pray Saint Augustine Tolton.